hello guys welcome back to another video today i've got for you a volvo c30 and as always i'm going to do a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car and then we're going to jump inside and i'm going to show you all the interior features and gizmos and gadgets and everything that this car comes with now <clears throat> i do have to apologize in advance if the video is gonna cut at certain points because it's really hot outside and my phone already told me a few times that it's too hot and it needs to cool down and sometimes it just turns the phone off completely until it cools down a bit but hopefully it's not going to be the case so um like i said this is a volvo c30 s finished in this absolutely beautiful shade of blue it is uh petrol it's got a 1.6 liter engine it puts out 99 brake horsepower and it was first registered on the 31st of march 2007 it has a valid MOT until the 23rd of February 2025, so plenty of MOT left. And it's got an annual road tax of £305 for the year. Insurance group is 15E, so it's very low on the insurance bracket, which basically means it's not going to break the bank to insure this thing. And it has a CO2 output of 167 grams per kilometer. Uh, in terms of fuel economy, you can expect to get around 34 miles per gallon around town and 49 miles per gallon on a motorway run with a combined fuel economy of 40 miles per gallon, which is not bad at all, considering the age of the car. It has a top speed of 115 miles per hour, and it has a knot to 60 time of 11.8 seconds. Um, so, yeah, um, the car's just been serviced. It comes with a few services as well. It doesn't have full service history, but uh, it has a few services. Um, there are a few little scratches here and there. Like, for example, I'm just going to show you now. You can probably see it just around the the bonnet area um i did put some touch of paint on there but there's still a few little scratches i mean you can barely notice it i mean if you come really close like the phone does um you can obviously see them but once you take literally two steps back it's like they they vanish um i think that is pretty much it the alloys are in good condition um, tires are really good as well there's plenty plenty of tread on the tires um, probably still has a few little minor scratches here and there like for example like you see that one there oh, you can really probably see it there it is yeah again if you take one step back it just vanishes so yeah it's a few little things like this but i mean it is a 2007 car so yeah it's not brand new um, <clears throat> the interior on the other hand is absolutely lovely I do love this blue um, accents that they've used around the whole cabin, basically. So all the seats and the uh, door, um, the armrest on the doors are really nice. And they are quite soft as well. Uh, one thing that I always loved about Volvos is the fact that they've got a lock and unlock button for the passenger as well as for the driver, which I think is great. Because, um, let's say, if you are in a bit of a shady area and the passenger is alone in the car and you don't want to have the the wind the doors open uh, they can lock it from there and so it's really nice it's a nice touch um, the seats are in really really good condition again considering the age and the mileage but there are no tears or rips or anything like that anywhere to be seen um, glove box is decent I'll probably say more than decent um, and then you've got your owner's manual in there as well and then to access the the rear just lift this handle up like that and push the seat forward just like that and then you get access to the rear and again seats are in good condition again no tears or rips or anything like that I do love the fact that they've also included the little armrest as well um, it's probably not big enough for two people but at least it's there so it's nice to have it um another thing is the uh um the rear passengers also have a 12 volt socket which is great because they'll keep their phones ipads stuff like that charged up and that is your lumbar support for the driver which is great and then you do get a little bit of cubby here and a little bit down there for uh, passengers to put their stuff in if they need to um right so pushing the seat back and then lift this and then push it back just like that and let's head over I'll show you the rear alloy as well and like i said tires are really good as well and this is the c30 and to open the bon the boot 
just press on just underneath the Volvo logo and I love how the um, all the window bit just lifts up just the window bit you got quite a quite a big loading area there um, over here you've got your parcel shelf if I can call it that it's, it's made out of a material more than anything so it's not really a parcel shelf but it does cover so just trying to do this one-handed which is not easy so that goes in there this goes in there and then you've got your parcel shelf where you can cover items and then over here you've got some um hooks and then there's another one there and you can just lift this up just like that and then you've got your boot in there as well so it's a it's a very interesting way the way they did it um but in here you've got your spare tire as well and everything you need to change it if you ever have a flat tire um i'm just gonna leave that there but yeah these hooks you can grab them onto that thing just like that and that will basically keep all your valuables hidden from prying eyes and everything which is great right but now so like i said it is the 1.6 liter petrol i'm just gonna open up the uh, so to release the fuel cap which is on the driver's side just press this button here and then once you pressed it it just pops open just like that and you can open it and then you've got your fuel cap there and it does say unleaded fuel only um let's just open the bonnet so to open the bonnet is on the driver's side you've got your obd port there and then there is a latch just right next to the obd port and that you can pop the bonnet open let's have a look at the bonnet trying to see if i can find that thing oh, here it is yeah so it's right above the volvo logo and that just opens up it opens up quite a lot actually it's pretty much at like a 90 degree angle ish 75 <laughs> um but yeah that's your engine here it's not much to see because Everything is pretty much covered in plastics, but yeah, that's pretty much how it looks like. Like I said, the car has just been serviced as well, so there is nothing that needs doing to it. Right, let's jump inside and we'll have a look at a few little features. So, starting with the driver's door, you've got a control for both windows and you've got electric mirrors as well and this is the button i was talking about so you've got the lock and unlock on the driver's side as well and then you've got your height adjustment over there this is again where you can let passengers go in and then see that's what i'm saying it's not the easiest things to operate with just one hand but we got it we got it right jumping inside oh, let me tell you one thing the volvo seats are absolutely sublime they are so comfortable it's unbelievable um here's the key so um lock on lock and that's your boot that's your panic button and i genuinely have no idea what that does uh so yeah i'll, I'll try it um right key in the ignition and you can see all the lights come on as they should car starts straight away no issues at all uh, so you've got that information that eye there that's basically because the driver door is open um just for the video i'm just going to close the door now so you can see that that does actually go away see um but i will open the door back up because it's too hot in here um right so you've got uh, your fuel gauge down there, then you've got your uh, speedometer up there, you've got your rev counter in the right, and then your water temperature. And as you can see, the car's covered 95,961 miles. Sorry, I couldn't see through the phone screen. Um, and then the only lights that are on is the fact that the handbrake is up, which I can fix straight away. Like that. And the fact that I'm not wearing my seatbelt, which I'm not going to put on now because I am sweating. Um, right. Over there, you've got your uh, indicator stock and your info button. 
and over there you've got your uh, wipers as well. Um, here is your main uh, infotainment unit. So you've got your radio up there, which works. Show the art. It's so absolutely fine. Um, I was hoping for some music, but there we go. It's BBC Radio Four. So. Um, and that's where you tune the the stations you've got uh presets over here from one to let's see if we find no okay yeah anyway it works you just need to find the right frequencies um now you've got your menu button over here and then you've got your climate settings, car settings, FM menu, and then you operate it with this button. Then you've got exit and enter. Um, that's your recirculate button, your rear window defrost, front window defrost. This is where you select where you want the air to come out from. You've got your AC over here, and then you've got your heated seats, which are absolutely useless today <laughs> because, well, because I don't know how well you can see it, but I am absolutely sweating um because it is hot I mean, yeah here it is um but um yeah um in probably a couple of months uh probably less than that um these will come in very handy um five speed manual gearbox absolutely beautiful goes through all the gears flawlessly there's no crunches or anything like that when you put it into gears and that's your reverse um <clears throat> You got another 12 volt socket here for the there you go for the driver and for the front passenger as well. Um, you've got a nice cubby area here with your locking wheel nut, and then you've got an armrest which opens up and reveals um, quite a quite a big cubby in there as well. Um, moving up there, you've got your rear view mirror, normal standard, and then you've got your interior lights which work absolutely fine. And then obviously you've got the two big ones up here as well, which I'm gonna turn off for now. And good old vanity mirror with uh, lights on the side. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, there's not much else to say. Um, the car drives absolutely beautiful, like I said. Um, it comes with pretty long MOT as well. I think it was 23rd of February. Um, I said it's MOT till. And let's just park this baby up. I'm just gonna park it next to my Honda Civic. Right there. But yeah, the doors automatically lock as soon as you drive away. And obviously the alarm starts beeping because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Fun fact, did you know Volvo invented the seatbelt? And then they left it as an open source for all other car manufacturers to implement it in their cars. So they haven't trademarked them. And they've saved probably millions of lives by doing that. So thank you, Volvo. Appreciate it. Um, right. I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me you can find me on 01684355032 or you can email me at vindemotors at gmail.com or just visit our website at vindemotors.co.uk thank you very much and i hope you have a great day take care bye-bye